Who says you have to be tough to be a broadcaster? You just got to be smart. Hello again, everybody. Ed Schultz along with Dana Mock, live from Dakota Field this afternoon. We are down to the final four in Division II football. And this semifinal game has got Central State going against North Dakota State today. Dana, I know. So going. now, Jeff Bentram will have Doug Lloyd, the offensive line, of course, uh, one of the best in the country. In the backfield, it's headed up by the best quarterback in Division II football, Stark. And, of course, Doug Lloyd in the backfield for the Bison. James Molstry is now a broadcaster on radio. Making Two receivers money. at the bottom of your screen. He wants to throw the football in the flat. This is Jeff Johnson across midfield in Central State Territory. So the Bison early on going to the air, and Vince Buck on the coverage and the tackle that time. Benny's got a couple of options here. And comes in and forces Benny to throw to the air. He goes to Johnson, and freshman Vince Buck is out there man on man. Johnson makes a good move, but can't quite get away from the freshman cornerback. Vince Buck with four interceptions last week against Towson State of Ohio, but the Bison challenging that second down, and let's make it seven. This is Bentram. This is Toshner to the outside. He has room. Turns the corner, and he's got a first down. Free safety playing very close to the line. Line of scrimmage, Bentram on the option. This is Paulson. He's got an open field. He's inside the ten. To the six-yard line. It's first and goal for the Bison. This is Bentram, and he splits the defense to the corner. Touchdown. Oh, of course, a first-team Kodak All-American. As you look at the Bison defense, Bison will have to get a great game out of their linebackers today, and. They're going to try to funnel all the plays to the inside and let Jimmy Dick and Scott Genzel, as you see him there, have a big afternoon. This, of course, is the big kid, Terry Morrow, who has got over 1,600 yards oh, rushing. you see him. Had 229 yards last week against Towson State of Maryland in a 31 to nothing win. Brooks wants to throw it, his first of the game, and it's picked up! First time we've seen motion today. And the big kid, Morrow, trying the left side of that defensive line and just finding very little yardage and over this there. This is Morrow. You'll see a lot of him today. As Morrow carried the football 51 times last week against time remaining. First quarter, Bison lead at 7 to nothing. So far, a low-scoring defensive struggle. This is Blaine Toshner. His first carry. He's in the open field. And Toshner down to the 28-yard line of Central State. This one, seven to nothing. The Bison have not given up any points in the first quarter all year. And now the pressure's on. And Lavelle will go down at his own 16-yard line. Again, it looks like the blitz is on. Bentram with an audible at the line of scrimmage. A speed option. Benny's in the open field, trying to turn the corner. And there's going to be a flag for a face mask as Mike Brown wrapped up Bentram illegally. And it will be a first down and more for the Bison. Third down and three from the 27-yard line. Lavelle now. To the near side. This is Morrow, and he will not get it. Three receivers to the near side. This is Stark, and he pulls his way. And Stark across the 40 down inside the 35-yard line. Bison at the 34-yard line. It'll be first and 10 in Marauder territory. Blitz is on again, but Doug Lloyd will score! And we have yet to see Central State really open up and throw the ball. Maybe they will now. They're going for all the marbles. And that ball's picked up! service. He's got running room. He's at the midfield strike and down to the 42-yard line. His longest has been 43 yards. The Bison are playing back in the secondary looking for the fake. The snap is down and the kick is... It hits the pipe! It hits the pipe! Second down and let's make it four from the 40-yard line. Again, Lavelle has him in an eye formation. This is Nix. That's the Bison defense. 9.05 remaining here in the third quarter. Vince Lavelle, a counter play. Morrow again. And again, it is Ken Muckenhern. 
Adam Manoman, look Minnesota. at this battle in Vermillion. 28-21. The wishbone offense has put 21 on the board against USD. And South Dakota's really getting some offense today as well. Second down and nine. Ball's going to be spotted at the 47-yard line. Still trying to establish Morrow as a running attack, but Muehlhauser fights off the tackle of Taurus Robinson, the big pulling refrigerator. The fridge didn't take anybody down on that one. He was running on empty there. Second down and nine. And it's the flea flicker. And they want to go deep. And that ball's incomplete, intended for Parnell Moore across the middle. Well, they're trying everything right now. They go to Morrow. He tries to make it look like a run, pitches back. They had one receiver going deep, but he was double covered. Tyrone and the safety had him. So then he goes across the middle, and Mr. Moore is covered as well. He overthrows him anyway. Well, I know Billy Joe took that one out of the old AFL playbook. <laughs> And now it's third down and nine again at their own 47-yard line. 8-12 remaining in the third quarter. Vince Lavelle, three wide receivers, they draw it. This is Morrow across midfield, but shy of the first down as Jimmy Dick wraps him up. I know the there's a quarter and a little bit more football left, but it is getting close to the critical stage for them. This is Kretschmann. He's all alone. And he will score. Jeff Bentram, a 71-yard touchdown pass to Len Kretschmann, his second of the afternoon. will just kill you in a playoff game. Kubish's kick. Nobody wants it. It's a loose football. And the boys have got it. Fourth down and less than a yard inside the 20 yard line. This is Gleason in motion. Bentram has the first down, has more. He may score. He does. Lavelle again. He's under pressure and he's not going to get it away. Paul Nielsen, the nose guard, the two time all conference football player. Beautiful scoreboard there with our call letters on it. <laughs> Barta wants to air it out. A little screen pass underneath. This is Paulson quickly knocked out of bounds. The Bison are 15 minutes away from Florence, Alabama, and another shot at the national title. And we'll be back. 13 remaining in this one. Cold weather isn't bothering Tim Herman. You Just know, wearing a sweatshirt with Mac Allen palm trees on it. It's not bothering anybody. Look at this. The Bison have got this thing in hand. It's 35 to nothing, and nobody's leaving. This town loves to see this football team play. There's a group of seniors here that have done a lot for, lot for this football this program. This is more. The Bison will go for it. Leading 35 to 6. Just trying to keep the ball away from Central State. Barta runs the option. He's got a big play. And this is Paulson. He's even got a real big play out of bounds of the 10 As you see, line. Chad Stark, just one of many seniors who will be saying goodbye to the fans here at Dakota Field today. And I can remember doing the Bison games in 1983, and at the, after the season was over, we're all sitting around saying, oh, boy, we got three more years of these guys, and it's just hard to believe that it has just flown by, but they have score. left so many memories. At Dakota Field, the Bison win it by a score of 35-12. to 12. We'll be back to wrap it up in a moment. <laughs> 